Oh my goodness. This guy has a video game. And look, that's supposed to be him. If this video gets 50,000 likes, which is a bit of a stretch, shows you how much I want to do this, I will make a video on Super Seducer. You did it. You wore me down. Are you happy? As of today, my video on Pickup Artist has 65k likes, and the only logical conclusion I can make from that is that you all want to see me suffer. My sympathy is outweighed by my selfish, morbid fascination with seeing others suffer for mine and others' enjoyment. I know you are going to suffer, but you need to understand that this is going to be extremely entertaining for me. I liked this video from three different accounts just so I could see you suffer. I'm so sorry. You put yourself in this situation. And I hit 50k likes on that video a while back, but I've been putting off this video because I don't want to play the game. That's it, really. Oh, and fun fact, I bought it with real currency money. That's the biggest joke in all of this. And I get comments and messages daily saying, where's the Super Seducer video? Play Super Seducer. Make the Super Seducer video. Play Super Seducer. I'm going to do it because I am a woman of my word, and I'd like to stop getting these messages. So in case you don't know me, my name is Tara Mooney, and this is the only channel on YouTube where all videos are written and produced by a cow. She couldn't be in this video today because Richard gives her the heebie-jeebies, but if you like and subscribe, she might appear in the next one. If you're wondering what Super Seducer is, it's a video game by a pickup artist. That's it. The first one was mostly in earnest, then the second was more tongue-in-cheek because he got goofed on so much. We'll talk about that more after I play the game. But anyways, I'm gonna go play the game because I hate myself. Bye! Cringe goggles. Check. Scarf to help with the chills on the back of my neck. Check. Headphones. Check. Let's go, lads. Let's get some women. So apparently the playtime is 57 minutes. <sighs> Why do I feel like it's gonna take much longer than that? Enter. <laughs> Enter the ladies. I'm sorry. Chapter one, girl on street. You're walking and a girl catches your eye. Can you stop her? Get her to talk to you and make her wanna see you again? <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, which which one of these options looks good to you? Uh, how about yo? What's up, girl? Yo, what up, girl? Can I just talk to you for a second? Where are you headed? Um, busy. Yeah, come back here. <sighs> Not right. Oh, I'm sorry, Richard. You want to stop her and talk to her when she's stationary. When she's stationary, like a car. Because cars are usually stationary? I think I meant a parked car. This is what happens when I don't have a script. Either stop her and talk to her. If she keeps walking, let her go. Let her go? I thought you weren't meant to let them go. Okay, how about talk to her from a few meters in front and slightly to the side? Oh, there's music. That that probably means it's good, right? That's correct. Woo! It's when you stop a girl on the street. Why are there women in their underwear just on the bed? Oh my god, you know what I've noticed? When you get the answer wrong and he does his little feedback video, there's no women in the background. It's like a metaphor, visual motifs. Okay, this is actually kind of deep. Our guy reads literature. Uh, okay, how about I saw you and you look very elegant. Can I tell you something really quickly? Sure. I just saw you and wanted to let you know that you look really elegant. I uh, love this skirt as well. <laughs> it's really summery. Thank you. This is good. Nice. The ladies are back in their underwear. So what's your plans for today? I'm actually going to the park uh, to feed the yeah. squirrels. Feed the squirrels. And what are you doing today? I think ask her questions because everyone likes to talk about themselves. Do you live local around here somewhere? Yeah. That's nice. And do you spend a lot of time in this area? Oh, that sounds a bit stalkery. Um, I do, yeah. There's a nice coffee shop just down there. Have you been there? I have, um, but I'm going to meet a friend actually, so I need to go. Okay, what's her name? Is it a he or a she? 
He's very good at acting creepy, isn't he? In the beginning, the girl actually shouldn't do most of the talking, so you don't want to ask a bunch of questions. Ah, woman no speak. Gotcha. Not couch potato. Well, every now and then, but in general, no, more active than dumb. Yeah, I'm kind of semi-active. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, this is boring, isn't it? I might have to speed run you through some of these, because I've got to say, it's a lot of drivel, a lot of small talk. I just want to get to, you know, getting laid. Listen, I've got a few minutes right now, so do you want to just grab a coffee? What do you say? Yeah, okay. Great. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> that would not happen. Right, let's get to the next level. Ooh, jazzy lounge music. Doesn't sound very jazzy to me, but... Okay, how will you break the ice? Okay, I'm gonna stealthily creep up on them from behind the sofa because even though that's a joke answer, let's be honest, quite a few men actually do that. He's got here, you know? Let's just give it a chance that we'll have a drink and see who's here. Ah! <laughs> hey, girls. Get out of me. How's it going, girls? Get out! I know he's meant to be joking, but he does this very convincingly. Don't be creepy, it's just not a good way to go, but in the game, you know, cool. Don't be creepy, says the pickup artist. Hmm. Ask them if they're talking about you. If they say no, then ask why not, because it's all about you. You're talking about me? Mm, no. Well, why not? <laughs> why should we? That's a great subject. <laughs> you think? Yeah, um, probably that's number one, and then number two would be uh, about guys, and number three about shopping. Like, top three subjects. Hmm. Ah, so you, guys, shopping, that's all girls talk about. That's correct, nice one. It's a cool, funny line, you know, in the bar, ideally, you want to get girls laughing very fast, right? And be more interesting than their boring conversation that they were having before you came, so... Okay, you know what I find funny? When he says, like, the conversation before was really boring. So many times does this happen when I'm out with a friend, like, just talking, you know, having a good time, and a guy comes up and he's like, Yeah, you want me here! And we're like, actually, we were having a really great time, do you mind just not. It's uh, like the hood is, uh, they were probably having a much nicer time before you arrived, Richard. How do you know each other? Uh, from school. From school? Yeah, ah, like well, university. When you were, ah, yeah, university. Yeah, college. Not school, like five no, years no, no, old. No, 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 no. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, so you're in the same class or something, yeah? So then uh, I'll speed you through it because it's actually really boring. He asks what they do at uni and he's like, oh, I bet you studied fashion and you studied drama, which, you know, is fine. Those are fine subjects. Um, and then they're like, no, actually we studied business. Uh, and the options are related to the business between her legs. B, compliment her on choosing tough subjects. C, go into details talking to the girl you like. Ask about her favorite modules. D, accuse them of being materialistic. Suggest the world would be better without money. Transition to singing. Say that it's cute and easier than a real major like math and science. So obviously all these options are terrible. I'm gonna guess that the serious answer is B, even though it's quite patronizing, being like, well done, you do hard subjects. Object. Pretty girl, be smart, what? But I'm also curious to see Richard sing, so I'm gonna choose D first. And if that's wrong, which it will be, I'll go with B. Business? Oh, that's so yeah. disappointing. Don't you Why? think we should live in a world like where money's not important and everyone just helps each other and is nice and shares. And... What are you talking about? Yeah, why are you wasting money this bloody dress? Look, it's all about the philosophy of it. And I think um, John Lennon had the right idea. <laughs> Imagine all the people. Imagine there's no heaven. Easy if you try. Imagine all the people. Okay, you saw that example, but now go back and try and make the right choice. I feel like I've disappointed my parents. Okay, compliment her on choosing tough subjects. Patronizing, but probably the correct answer. I like that, you know, because a lot of people, they do like, I don't know, some simple, easy subject, but doing business is, is really nice. I like it. Yeah, but it's kind of a common thing to do, I think. 
Yeah? I think so. What? So you think a lot of girls in this bar study business? No. I don't think so. I think, I think they study no. Instagram. Oh, the girls study Instagram. You're not like the other girls. You'll notice that in the interactions we want to balance validation, you know, saying well done. Get those shoes off the bed. I love playing with my dog. Oh god, that first answer is not even funny. D, say you have fish. That's a good idea because then you can be like, you have a dog, I have a fish. The fish and the dog could go on a play date. And then you get the date. Boom, boom, boom. Got it. But anyway, now I've got um, fish. Oh. I've got an aquarium. And in there, I don't know, I've got 24 fish. Wow. Um, some of them are like lucky. the stalling fish, where you have a few of the same. And then I've got two of the crown fish, and they're finding Nemo. And then I've got three of the blue tank, like uh -huh. the blue ones. And they're really fast. They just race around. And they did this game where they take bubble from the top, bring it down, let it go. And then oh, they, they go around. And I feed them like three times a day, but it's automatic. It has this okay. um, feeder, one with pellets, and then one with flakes. It's very so, interesting. So, yeah. No. Tell me. Well, yeah, of course. So I've got some other fish. Actually, I might just name one. Could be called Anya. Oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. This is a rejection of her offer, if you use um, impro terminology. Yeah, I've done some improv. You blocked it. You talked about your fish she might not care might not have anything to say about it oh the women have clothes on now have you noticed that if you do want to talk about your fish save it until you've fully explored the subject relating to her okay so what i've learned is that you don't bring up your fish straight away got it okay so plot twist girl he likes has a boyfriend I would say the option, if it were me in real life, I would say, you know, maybe wrap up the conversation and just be like, it was nice to meet you, see you later. But since that's not an option here, and it seems as if he's saying still pursue her, which is, I mean, he's literally got a whole video on how to get a girl with a boyfriend, so why am I surprised? You got a boyfriend? Yeah. Why are you talking to me then? She is free. Yeah, but I like to. <gasps> but why not find out a bit more? Maybe you can be friends. Maybe you can move on to the other girl. There's always something you can do. Ah! But the other girl will know she's second best. Oh gosh, okay. I guess I messed that one up. Ask if he would mind you two talking. Well, look, I don't want to disrespect your, your dude. So, uh -huh. would he mind us talking? No. Like if he was watching us right now and we were like, he would be okay? Yeah. This works psychologically because you're taking away her independence. You're saying, well, would, you, would he allow you to talk to me like are you allowed to do that so she's gonna want to say of course i'm allowed i do what i like nice nice classic bit of manipulation there love it it looks like we're closing up on this and we're gonna try and school that number try to get both of their numbers tell the girl that you'd really like to take her out and involve her friend c suggest hanging out all together and take the number i'm gonna go with c that seems like a wholesome answer seems like the least creepy but listen look I, to be honest i think you're really great girls Thanks. you seem like really good girls and you're nice to talk to and stuff so we should definitely do something sometime uh, yeah so okay. why don't you you give me your number and okay. then we can arrange something like to meet all together okay well it's great speaking to you i'll, I'll leave you yeah. guys to it okay have a nice time for the rest of the night yeah have a good night see ya yeah. See he seems a really nice guy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe you should go out. Yeah, one day. Yeah, cool. Nice, yeah, that totally would happen. They would totally say that after that conversation. Yeah, cool. So now we're in a cafe, bothering a girl who's trying to just read her book. A very empty cafe at that. <laughs> I love this. A. Ask if someone is using that chair. Then sit with her. Brackets. Cheeky. B. Stay standing and ask what she is reading. C. Ask her opinion of what to get as a present for your female friend. Accuse her of pretending to read and she is really hunting for men. E. Tell her you've read that book and that he dies in the end. I like the cheeky one. Shall we go for the cheeky one? Hey, excuse me. Hey. Are you using this chair? No. Oh, great. I'll just join you then. Okay. So then there's this bit where she's talking about her job and he gets distracted and checks out another girl's ass who's walking past. Not sure why that needed to be thrown into the narrative. <laughs> How about be honest and say you were distracted by a girl? She'll appreciate the honesty. To be honest, did you see that girl that just walked by? Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, she's gone now, but she had like amazing long legs and just the perfect um, ass on there and totally distracted. <sighs> anyway, give me a second to chill home. Oh, that was wrong, wasn't it? Okay, shall we get to the next level? Oh wow, they really like to tell a story, don't they? 
So I haven't seen you for a while. How's it going? Yeah. And they talk and it's very boring. Um, and then she says she's going to a music festival and he's like, oh, could I come? And she's like, no, I was going to ask if you could look after my cat. Mm -hmm. And I was going to ask you to come. Uh... Oh, I'd love to come. No, I was going to ask you to come and to take care of my cat. Oh. Okay, so I'm guessing this, this scenario is like a friend zone one. So she's asked if you can look after her cat. A. Say it's no problem at all and you'll even come twice a day. B. Tell her it's ridiculous that she's taking advantage of your feelings for her. C. Tell her you're a little busy this week. D. Sure. What are friends for? Ooh, never say friends. E. Say you'll do it for a blowy. Unzips pants. F. Say something about looking after her how about tell her you're a little busy this week? Oh, uh, you know I'd love to help, but actually I'm I'm pretty oh, busy no. this week. Yeah. <laughs> the acting. Busy this week. Yeah. Who are you going to the festival with? With my boyfriends. Ah, this guy. Yeah. So. I do not believe that these two are friends. If you're good enough friends with someone to ask them to look after your cat, surely they would know you have a boyfriend and your conversations would not be this awkward. Ah, this guy, yeah. Um, how, yeah. how is that, by the way, relationship? It's okay. It's okay. Only okay? It's not perfect. Ah. Actually, I see him like once or twice a week. He's always in the office or even when he's at home he's on his computer so there is not much communication between us so he doesn't really pay attention to you and stuff okay so in terms of her boyfriend and him not treating her right say that he is terrible and that you would never do that b tell her that he is a shit and she needs to break up with him c say that she should be grateful that's the best she can do d say that he sounds pretty cool to be honest E, say actually it's understandable, you can do the same thing sometimes. I don't, none of these sound great. Should we go with A? Oh, really? He's terrible, you know? That's, um, that's just not right. You should treat your girl better than terrible. that. Terrible? Not terrible? But oh, I wouldn't cool. say I'm completely happy. Interesting psychological point here. It's not the best choice. And the reason why is that when you join her in saying bad things, you actually cause her to defend him. Because if you go a little bit too far, say something, then she goes into the position of defending her man and therefore getting closer to him and putting you on the other side. So much better is to take the opposite tack. Damn, this is some really shady shit. Oh, so then one week goes by and you receive a text on your phone from your friend. Yeah. I'll where else would you receive the text? Oh my god, so now we have a text test. Okay, I'm guessing you should wait a while, you know, play it cool. You wait a few minutes and she texts you back. Where are you? Why won't you respond? And she's saved as girl in your phone. <laughs> they didn't, they couldn't even think of a name for her character. Don't respond, continue to wait the two hours. Sorry, I was busy, is everything okay? C, respond with, I was busy getting this ready for you and send a Peak. How about B? She replies to say she needs to talk with you and arrange to meet that night. So then they go and meet up later that day and turns out she's broken up with her boyfriend and Richard is heartbroken for her. Not very good. My wife. It's my boyfriend. We is, broke is, up. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes, I thought he, he was the right person to be my husband. Mm, um, not now, right? Yes. Well, look, I've got something that might cheer you up. Hang on a second. Okay. A. Bring two bottles of champagne to cheer her up. B. Bring her some flowers and make her feel better about her boy problems. C. Bring her some wine. D. Bring her a tree. A tree? I'm just curious to see what that looks like. A whole, a whole ass tree. And kumquats, oh. because it's a kumquat tree. Yeah. That's the kumquat tree. Yeah. I actually like this one, to be honest, but there's a better option here, but you know, I hope you enjoyed it. I very much enjoyed it, Richard. Thank you. It was delightful. I want to get a kumquat tree. And then she reveals that she was the one that ended the relationship. And we've got some options now. Bloody hell, there was so much video there. I was getting bored. Come on, include me in this. A, reveal that you've actually always loved her and wanted to be with her. B, commiserate her on her love life and tell her that's the right decision and she will be happier. C, comfort her and try to make her... Okay, so I'm guessing B, right? Because A is too keen and 
C is too disgusting. Correct, that's the right option. Blah 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 blah. Then they play fight and he kisses her. I'm nice. gonna miss you, you're gonna miss you, I'm gonna miss you. But of course, you're friends, so you need to make a decision about how to respond to kissing. Uh, so if you're the one to voice this concern, then she's likely to take the opposite tack. Do you have a condom? Oh my god, this is like The Sims when they woohoo. What? Yo, what? 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 Okay, um, that was easy. <laughs> How will you approach her? Approach her from the front or follow her for a few blocks until she makes the first move. So let's approach from the front, right? Right, boys? You definitely want to be in front and you want to pay attention to the amount of space between you. And what are you up to today? I'm going to meet a friend now. Hang on a second. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. Okay, that's good. She might be gay. My favorite food is tacos. Oh, I also like tacos. So after she says that her favorite food is tacos, your options are A, is that a euphemism for being a lesbian? B, say that you also really like Mexican food. You don't. C, tell her that it's too unhealthy for you. True. I love Mexican food. See, these answers don't take into account my truth. Ask if she's a lesbian. I want some lesbian representation in this game. Bye. That's gross! Oh, disgusting! Dirty little bugger. Dirty little bugger. I just wanted my lesbian representation. Hello, we've got a bit of light now, because it's getting dark. Okay, so we can get through this, lads. Then I've got to play the second one tomorrow. Kill me. What type of guy is the best wingman? A. Attractive guy. B. Ex-girlfriend. C. Ugly guy who makes you look good by comparison. C? No, wrong, 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 wrong. Oh, attractive guy? You want to go out with someone that makes you look good? But if they're good looking, they won't make you look good because you'll look ugly in comparison. So the lads, they're in the club, they're on the prowl, and they're looking for the gals. Wow, what an amazing party. Yeah, such a nice club. That does not look like an amazing club. That looks pretty dry. And I'm someone who doesn't like clubbing. Quickly engage your friends, but ask him to introduce you. You know what I want to know? How long those girls in their underwear on the bed have to sit there? filming like how long were they there for it must have been incredibly boring and then they go and get drinks and the girls apparently just stand there not speaking to each other monica what do you think this place is getting a bit dull right the place was always dull my friend so how have you been the past few days what have you been doing so we got our last chapter and that is a date. Okay, what movie? Uh, it was Seven with Brad Pitt, a nice one. Ah, uh, yeah, it's good, right? It's kind of um, psychological, serial killer, scary. Oh, so you've seen it? Yeah, Yeah, I like it, it is it's... very scary. I liked it very much. I think it's very smart. But it's a strange film for a girl. It's not like Sex is in it? the City or <laughs> like um, Finding Nemo or something. It's yeah. quite... <laughs> yeah, girls famously only watch Sex in the City and Finding Nemo. Why Finding Nemo? Yes. Cheers. Cheers to finally almost finishing this fucking game. This section is just incredibly long. It's like 10 minutes of them just chatting shit. So now we gotta try and escalate things. Here's some options. A, ask her what grade she would get in kissing school. B, pounce on her and surprise her with a kiss. C, kiss one cheek, then the other, then kiss her. D, do you know what time it is? Time to kiss. E. Tell her she looks like a baby lamb and tickle her, then kiss her. I'm baffled by that one, so I'm gonna go with that one. Oh, look at you, like a little baby lamb. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. You would kiss a baby lamb? Actually, I would kiss a baby lamb, but not in that way. Oh my god, that's the end of the day. Right, so that's the first game, and his real life wife is in it. Isn't that sweet? I wonder how she feels about all this. Right, well, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow when I play the second game. God help me. Right, so it's time to look at the world's biggest number two, and that is Super Seducer 2. Hello and welcome to Super Seducer 2. We're back bigger and better. I also listened to female players' feedback and now you can actually play levels from a chick's perspective. Finally, I'm joined by Charlotte. Hi everyone, and I'm here to try and give a little bit of a female perspective on things. Let's start and I hope you enjoy it. From the chick's perspective. 
Maybe I can take my cringe goggles off. Chapter one, Posh Totty versus Supermodel. I spoke too soon. And this time I'm actually gonna try and play it seriously because I wanna get the highest score possible so I can unlock that ideal ending. Cause I couldn't do that in the last game cause I did some jokey answers. And because I was bad at the game. some long ass introduction and now finally we are at the first question of the game how to approach her a don't approach her at all eat a kumquat b use the genius conversation starter from that youtube guy is that an attempt at a joke c go and tell her she caught your eye and can you join her for a few mins d gaze into her eyes whilst beckoning her with your finger as if it's a e catch her attention non-verbally. Okay, right, I need to do this seriously. I reckon C. Hey, how are you doing? I'm, I'm very good, how are you? Good to hear. Well, I'm very, very well. Listen, um, I was just sitting there, saw you, and thought I'd come and say hi. Hello. So then the waitress comes and says, hey, are you ready to order? A, say, hey babe, the usual please. B, tell her not to bother you. You are in an important conversation. And that would be a red flag, or for me anyway. Anyone is rude to service workers? Get in the bin. C, I'll have a piece of cake. The let, mm. D, order tea, cake, shop for confidence, something for her. E, you know what? Everything on this menu sucks. Let's go back to my place. F, order a tea, cake, something for her. Um, tea and cake? What? is the latest or earliest time that I can have champagne. Oh, oh. So then she asks, what do you do? A, make a joke, then tell the truth. I'm a mumble rapper. B, I work wonders in bed. C, I work for a pharmaceuticals company and make YouTube videos. D, marketing manager and I make YouTube videos, but I really love poetry. E, distract her and do the ring finger DHV routine instead. Don't know what that means. F, I make enough to give you 500 right now if you'll come home with me. Truth, joke or truth? Or we just have different drugs for different ailments and what if he's an essential oils guy? YouTube. So I make YouTube videos. Oh, that is exciting. Yeah. That sounds amazing. Ooh, she likes YouTubers. She speaks like a mum. You know what I mean? I don't mean that as an insult. Just the whole, that's brilliant. Good on you. Thank you. Brilliant. Oh, and then they throw a spanner in the works. It's, it's nice to dip in and out, mm. obviously. Hey, do you recognise her? In the car? Yes, I do. I think who is I she? I think it's that famous Russian model. What's her name? I don't know. But God, yeah. she's beautiful, isn't she? Yeah, not bad. Wow. We've got a tough decision to make, lads. A. Continue talking to girl in cafe. B. Approach girl in car. I mean, he's not married to the girl in the cafe, but if he approaches the girl in the car, she's gonna be, you know, she's gonna be a bit miffed. She's gonna be like, oh, I thought we were hanging out. But then I'd also be curious to see what is she saying? Why is she saying come over here? Shall we, shall we imagine he's a loyal boy? Yeah, modeling's all right, but acting's much more interesting, right? Yeah, I, I... So much I, more varied. And then she drove away! Let them eat cake! And then he starts acting weird. You okay? And our options are... A. Say that you are wearing a medical corset and the doctor said you can finally take it off tonight. B. Say it's nothing serious, just a twinge. C. It happened when I was picking up a baby that was walking out onto the road. Lie. D. Tell her your body is pretty fucked, but your d- How about B? I think it happened. I did some gym and then I went out feeding the squirrels. Feeding the squirrels. Sure you were, Richard. No one likes a Mona. No, no. Guys with physical ailments. They've not even touched their cake. You like big surprises? <laughs> Check it out. Get out! Oh my god, I love that. He's a literary genius. A, give her a little wave. B, proudly proclaim that you slept with her. C, hide from her. None of those options sound great. I would say just pretend you didn't see her. Hiding makes it seem weird. So give her a little wave. Hey, Anastasia. 
Hey, how are you doing? You look so nice, great dress. How's your flower shop? How's Anna? <gasps> um, how, are you still dating that guy? Oh my God. Okay, should he have hidden? She said that you got a small dick and um, you can't sing. I genuinely thought that hiding from her would just look really suspicious. <laughs> also, in the end of that scenario, they became friends. She was like, he seems like a nice guy. So this doesn't add up. Anyway, A, tell her that you, in fact, don't have a small dick. B, tell her that you have a really small dick and joke about it. C, tell her that you'll sing if your singing is good, then it must mean your dick is huge. D. Say that it's your jealous ex and she always does that. Joke about it? Turn it into a joke? And maybe she had sex with a horse or something. How big it's... is it compared to this? Uh, that's quite a big banana, to be honest. It's, it's reminiscent of that. Is it this big? Yeah, it's about that big. I like your honesty. This one might be okay, honest. I mean, how is that okay? Being honest, you said be but honest. It's just being a little crude on a first date. You didn't give us any good options, my lady. Do you fancy meeting again? Oh, we didn't even have to ask her out again. She did, even after the whole banana thing. Right, let's go to the next level, chapter two. Boss and secretary. Yikes! Can we get HR in the chat? There's this really long introduction where he talks to the friend that he slept with in that bar in the last game. Don't know what that's got to do with the boss secretary situation, but... Anyway, look, guess what? Um, tomorrow I've got this uh, new secretary starting in my office. It's a I'd... big day, yeah. Oh. Right, now we're getting to the story. Come on, chop chop. Oh, right, he's doing a funny. It's funny because he's self-aware. It's less creepy when you're self-aware, right? Sarah, the secretary, has just started her first day at work and the first question is, what is the first task you're gonna make her do? A, sexually show her how to staple properly. B, create a situation in order to surreptitiously check out her ass. C, to take your dirty laundry to the dry cleaners. D, tell her you can't focus on work because you are thinking about, ask her to fax some contracts and rearrange a meeting. Uh, e, just do work and don't harass your staff. That seems like a good option. In the beginning, in the office, come on, you've got to be professional. Yeah, it's really important that you keep that professional boundary at the beginning. In the beginning, you shouldn't full stop. Oh my god, all these options are terrible. So we're nearing the end of the chapter and the options are A. Coolly invite her on a date. B. Tell her it's time to add some new responsibilities to her job. Undo belt. C. Push her against the wall and kiss her. Well, obviously the first option is the least bad, but power dynamics! By now, you should have a sense of whether she would agree to the date. It doesn't matter what her response would be. You've been working here for a while and, you know, we get on well professionally, but I hope you don't mind me saying, but I think we get on well personally as well. Mm, yeah. Yeah? So this is a little bit delicate and I hope it's okay. No. I was thinking, and you can say no if you want. Well, she can't say no because you have a power over her. No problem. I was thinking maybe one day we could go out on a date. Um, yeah, why not? We don't need to tell anyone about it. It's just between us. It was so funny, funny how at the end of this they were like, you didn't get the ideal ending. And I was like, I don't want the ideal ending. This is bad. So, so far, not doing so well in the game. Uh, it's not looking like we're gonna get that ideal ending. Right, this is a scenario where you're looking for a one night stand in a club. So, let's see how a lower percentage I can get in this one. Big plans for the match. I'm definitely ready to have some fun. Oh, here's to that. <laughs> and this one is from the perspective of the chick. Gals night out in the club and it's asking how to behave. A. Walk up to a guy and grab his dick to show social dominance. B. Loudly ask, so what, are there any real men in here? C. Look pissed off like you're playing hard to get. D. Smile a lot and look around the room. How about smile a lot and look around the room? And then there's this really long awkward scene where they're just looking around the room dancing, smiling. Mm -hmm. 
God, this is long. They're just dancing and looking around the room. Nothing's happened yet. It's been like five minutes. Oh my God, the questions. <laughs> it's asked the same question twice, where it's like, how do you behave? How should your body language be? It should be open, blah, blah, blah. I find it interesting how the first chapter we have from the chick's perspective, they're not speaking. It's just all about their body language. Like this whole thing, I swear, up to this point, it's just been them going. <laughs> So there's this whole saga, they're scouting out guys and you've got to say yes or no to certain guys. Oh, oh, oh. look, he's so sweet. Sweetie. That guy. I was like, you need to eat him for breakfast. He wouldn't last five minutes. No! Oh, and guess who shows up? Richard. I wonder what the correct answer for this one is. He's quite good looking. Yeah. Go. Bear in mind, Richard wrote this. Richard's always got to be the main character. Were you checking me out earlier? You know, I really like your style. You, you look really cool and I like a man who dresses well. <laughs> Okay, so you know what? I did better on this level than any other because it, maybe because it was from the perspective of a woman? I don't know. Two out of 20 wrong choices, so quite chuffed with that maybe that'll bring up our average and we'll get that uh, ideal ending at the end of the game so this next chapter is comedy interlude leo has a big comedy gig can he make a good impression and win over the audience so this is seducing an audience but it's stand up oh my god i find stand up really hard to watch like there's good stand up out there but just it makes me very nervous. I will try and get through this, but it's gonna be hard. And then I was, I was lying in bed about two weeks ago and, uh, and I was having a wank and I realized that's where my hand rubs. I don't have skin cancer, it just wanked a groove onto my hip. God. The cringe. Okay, this is actually worse than any of the dating shit. This, this gives me chills like nothing else. Oh, you know what? Uh, recently I signed this petition against the sexist game on Steam and I think you should do it too. Oh, meta! Agree that it's a terrible misogynistic game. B. Tell her that's where you learned your smooth pickup moves. C. Say that the game is great. So I'm guessing Richard would want us to say that the game is good. So B. We're gonna say that's where we learn our moves, you know. Joke it off, but we would never slag off poor Richard. Yeah, play that game. That's where I learned all the smooth moves to pick you up. So you really play that sexist game? Oh yeah. No, no, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Damn, that is an accurate portrayal of feminists. This could be true, but yeah, it's considered wrong for some reason. Yeah, I wonder why your content is considered sexist, Richard. Wow. I think people are just overreacting. Okay, agree that it's a misogynistic game. Oh yeah, I totally agree with you about that game. The, the guys who make it are misogynistic pricks, especially that, yeah. that long haired one. What are you doing? Come on, not right, obviously. So what is the right answer, Richard? So we didn't score a date with the feminist lady, but you know, that's probably for the best because she didn't like super seduce her. Ugh. Two more chapters, I'm so, excited to finish this fucking game. It's tedious. I'm not gonna get that special super ideal ending. But you know what? I don't give a shit because I don't want to think like a pickup artist. They're weird. And Richard, your jokes are shit. And even when like he's trying to be self-aware, poking fun at himself, it falls flat. As a side note, why can't non-comedy people just stay in their lane? Like, it's okay if you're not funny. Just don't do comedy. This is the dating app chapter. Take your Tinder dating to the next level and arrange a date with a beautiful blonde. Goal, <laughs> date. <laughs> And of course, like all the other chapters, it's got an unnecessarily long introduction. <laughs> it's okay, Siggy. I know this game is really bad. I also want to cry. <laughs> she looks good in this picture, but bad in this one. 
Hmm, what shall I do? Oh, in this picture, she looks minging again. Nah, better not risk. Acting! Learn about it! Huh, she looks kind of cute. She doesn't show her body though, so I don't know if it's gonna be good. Um, she looks all right. Mm, yeah. Obviously the wrong one, she won't look as good in person. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Mm, Cool, nice one. In most cases, people are going to choose their very best pictures. So if someone's just, you know, showing their pretty face, but you can't see even a hint of their body, uh, yeah, it probably means that they don't have a great body. If this is of big importance to you, it wouldn't be to me. So that's the end of Super Seducer 2. Yeah, it was okay. Could have been a lot better, but it could have been a lot worse, so. I've been playing this game for about three to four hours today and same yesterday and I've been playing it for hours and need to rest my eyes and have a snack and also just cleanse my soul. So I will do my conclusion on another day. So I did that. I played Super Seducer and Super Seducer 2. There is actually a Super Seducer 3 which didn't make it on Steam because they cancelled the release. Lol. And I won't be playing that one because I don't want to. Overall, the game was boring. Yeah, it had some cringy moments for me to goof on, but most of it was just talking about nothing. And it's clear that in the second game, Richard took to heart the feedback. You see this a lot online. Someone is cringy, they get goofed on, so then they lean into the cringe and then it's not fun anymore because it's not in earnest. I expect a lot of people to respond to my criticisms with, it's a joke, he's doing it for laughs. That doesn't mean I have to find it funny. I like jokes that are funny. Like in the show, I think you should leave or in a Curtis Connor video. Yes, Richard may be poking fun at himself, which I like. I think it's important that we take ourselves all a bit less seriously. But that doesn't erase the fact that in these games and in his work in general, he is seriously giving very bad dating advice. So I'd also like to add that, yes, I'm aware that most of the scenarios in the game are fantasy. However, in the feedback videos where he and Charlotte are giving feedback, they are giving actual advice. So to say that because Richard is being consciously goofy and making jokes, therefore I can't criticize the game, is a bad take. They still say that it's okay to make a move on your secretary, which is an even worse take. Also, someone pointed out to me, which I didn't notice at first, but is very important, is that in the answers, there's always an obviously wrong answer. You know, where you fully assault the woman. But interestingly, the right answers are also bad. So it's as if the examples of assault are there to make the examples of harassment look less bad, which is kind of smart. I just wonder how productive it is for society. I'm relieved to be done with this. I won't be playing any more of his games or any pickup artisty games. In fact, I'd like to stop giving these guys attention in general. They live off it. And this game was so tedious and eye roll inducing that it genuinely put me in a bad mood after. So yeah, no more of that please. To end on a high note, let's look at today's subscription pet shout out. Pino Bambino, a bunny who likes to travel in style. And that is all for today. Have a good day or night. Dog bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.